The Uninet DTF-1000 is finally here, and we'd like to give you an idea on what to expect from this hefty machine in this video. Now, if you've just purchased one, please refer to the masterclass for detailed setup instructions, and we recommend scheduling your onboarding session with Uninet as soon as possible. Please do not install the inks until you're scheduled onboarding. Your Uninet DTF-1000 is gonna come in a wooden crate. The inks and supply items will arrive in a separate box. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screw gun to unbox the printer. Once all of the tabs are pried up, you can then remove the lid and then remove the stabilizing crossbars. Carefully take out the printer and all of its packaging. You'll then want to remove the small box and also remove the roll holder components. Next, open your box of ink and supplies. There are a lot of different items in this box, so be sure you have a storage container, drawer, or a place set aside in your shop to put everything. This is everything that comes with your Uninet DTF-1000 printer. We also have the Uninet DTF heat station with built-in fume extractor. This machine is used to cure our prints and unboxing it is pretty straightforward. As a side note, this item is sold separately. Again, please refer to the Uninet masterclass for detailed setup instructions. Be sure you do not install the inks until your scheduled onboarding session with the Uninet technician. Installing your inks outside of this session can lead to issues and it will void your warranty. Now, assuming you've scheduled your onboarding session with Uninet and are currently waiting, you can go through the masterclass in the meantime. We recommend setting up your printer where you plan on keeping it, which should be a sturdy desk, table, or workbench. You'll wanna have a few hours set aside for a complete setup and onboarding to ensure that you're able to complete the process in one session. Plug in the power and USB cables, then you can set up and attach your roll feeder. Once that's complete, install the necessary drivers and ProRip software.
you could do a dry test print to make sure everything is working prior to your onboarding session. The last thing you'll do on your computer before your onboarding session is install the WIC software. Set your heat station in a well-ventilated area away from any flammable or heat sensitive materials. If you also have a separate fume extractor, you'll want to set that up as well. Now is a great time to find a place for your powder application station which can be a deep plastic tray or even a baking sheet if you're careful. You really just need something to capture your extra powder runoff. Once all of your equipment is set up, you'll be ready for your scheduled onboarding session with a Uninet technician. This is where you'll actually install the inks and fire off a test print. It's crucial, again, that you do not install the inks until instructed to do so by a Uninet technician. By the end of your onboarding session, you should be ready to print on your own. Your custom DTF transfers will be ready after just a few steps. First, import your image into ProRip. Make any necessary changes like resizing, nesting, or color knockout, and then send it to print. And unlike myself in this video, don't forget to mirror your image. Once your print is complete, you'll want to immediately apply the powder adhesive to the wet ink. Pour the powder over your print so it's completely covered, then shake off all the excess powder back into your tray for reuse in the future. On a side note, you'll probably want to invest in some basic PPE for handling the fine powder adhesive. Bring the powdered print over to your heat station for curing, where the powder will melt permanently onto your DTF ink. Once this step is complete, the transfer can be heat pressed onto a garment immediately. These cured transfers are also shelf stable and can be stored for future use or even shipped to your customer so they could use it with their own equipment and garments. The application settings will vary depending on your film and adhesive, but for application using the included materials, set your heat press at 300 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 seconds with firm pressure and be prepared for a warm peel, usually around 10 to 20 seconds after pressing. Pre-press your lower platen for about 60 seconds prior to your first transfer in a run. Pre-press your t-shirt for about 5 seconds to remove any wrinkles and moisture. Then position your transfer, place a cover sheet over it, and press. Once it's done, Wait about 10 to 20 seconds and peel. Repress with the cover sheet to seal the transfer onto your garment and you're all done. Let's address the elephant in the room, printer maintenance. 
Yes, these machines require daily maintenance. And no, it's not as bad as some of the naysayers on YouTube would have you believe. In truth, there are pros and cons to every print method out there. Here at Heat Press Nation, we don't believe there's just one print method or product for everyone, only the right product for you. So as we cover the basic maintenance steps, it may deter the more casual of users, but for the print shops who know that durable, full color transfers are basically like printing money, a little daily maintenance is more than worth the effort. A head cleaning and nozzle check are the core elements of your daily maintenance and usually only take a few minutes. It is important to perform these steps whether you plan to print that day or not. First, perform your regular head cleaning. Then you'll want to verify success with a nozzle check. If the nozzle check comes back with a broken pattern, you want to repeat the process until the pattern shows clear or that all the nozzles are firing properly. There's also a special weekly maintenance step that is usually done before you go home for the weekend. This will ensure there are no major issues when you come back on Monday. Your daily maintenance routine should also include checking your humidifier, fume extractor, ventilation, and room temperature. It's also a good time to load some powder into your powdering station and start up your curing unit. Taking a little time every day to perform printer maintenance and system checks will help ensure that small problems don't escalate and form larger and more expensive problems. There are some considerations you'll want to keep in mind when deciding if the unit at DTF 1000 or if DTF printing in general is right for you. Now we've already talked about the daily maintenance, which seems to be the biggest consideration for DTF printing in general. Now having a DTF printer is kind of like having a pet in that you have to give it regular care. But unlike most pets, this one has the potential to generate major revenue for your business. As for the product itself, DTF transfers are very durable and stretchy while being relatively thin and light, similar to Plastisol screen print ink. And like screen printed inks, you'll want to incorporate negative space in your graphics as much as possible. This breaks up the coverage and adds breathability to the transfer. DTF printing in general is not an instant process, though it may be faster than other methods. Some transfers may take a few minutes just to print, not counting the time for powdering, curing, and application. As a result, nearly all DTF users print in batches. A few feet of 13 inch wide batched prints could take anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. So it's important to factor that into your workflow and have things to work on while you're waiting for your prints. You can cure, trim, package, and ship orders while waiting for the next batch to print. Or take that time to work on social media posts or your bookkeeping. Trust me, there's always something to do. At this point, you might be asking yourself, what kind of business is the unit at DTF 1000 best suited for? Well, the DTF 1000 and DTF printing in general is not recommended for the casual user, businesses who don't intend to print daily, or businesses with a very low demand for full color transfers. On the other hand, we definitely recommend the Uninet DTF 1000 for businesses that have a need for daily transfer production. This printer is best suited for businesses that are full-time, though part-time businesses will find success as long as they can dedicate a few hours daily, not just for the printer maintenance, but also for the time spent making sales and then printing, curing, and fulfilling those orders. Not only are you able to imprint on a nearly endless variety of garments, but you're also able to sell just the transfers to your clients. This allows them to customize their own garments using their own equipment. That's two separate streams of income generated from just one printer. With that being said, the low average cost per print, ease of application, durability and soft hand of the transfer and shelf stable nature of cured transfers combined to make DTF printing an incredibly viable option for literally thousands of businesses across the globe. So if you're a garment decorator with lots of demand for full color graphics and you want to control your own transfer production and or you want to offer transfers for sale, then you should seriously be considering the Uninet DTF 1000. The intention for this video is to be less of a step-by-step -step guide and more of a general overview with valuable insight into the DTF process 
using the UniNet DTF-1000 printer. Again, if you've already purchased your DTF-1000, be sure to refer to the masterclass for detailed setup instructions and do not install your inks until you're scheduled onboarding with a UniNet technician. At Heat Press Nation, we don't believe there's one right product for everybody, just it's right for you. For more information on DTF or other heat transfer products and equipment, please visit us at heatpressnation.com. And if you'd like to speak with a friendly, knowledgeable representative to see if your business is a good candidate for the UniNet DTF-1000, please feel free to give us a call at 800-215-0894. Our team will be happy to hear you out and make their best recommendation for your business specifically.